hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys put me in a pink tutu and call me fifi seems to be the best way to start this particular video as the vice president of nigeria yemi oshimbajo continues to be emasculated uh by the malamis so with that guys i bring you this you are the most trustworthy vice president ever Emir of Daura tells Oshibanjo. So that's the headline. You are the most trustworthy vice president ever. Emir of Daura tells Yemi Oshibanjo. So now let's see now what level of debilitation is being vested on this guy this time around. Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo was applauded by the Emir of Daura, Alaji Farouk Umar, on Saturday, November the 2nd, for his loyalty and commitment to the administration of President Buhari. Umar, who rules over Buhari's hometown, described Oshibanjo as the most trustworthy vice president of Nigeria who has the best interest of Nigeria in his mind. Oshibanjo was in Dara for the turbaning of Buhari's nephew, Alaji Musaharo, who was bestowed with one of Dara Emirates' highest traditional title, Damanda Min Dara by the Emir. The Emir said the traditional institution in the state and the country will continue to identify with the Buhari-led administration. The royal father noted that the turbaning of Haro as a district head without portfolio was due to his contribution to the development of the Emirates and Nigeria at large. Prominent among the dignitaries who attended the ceremony were the chief of staff to the president, Abba Kwari, secretary of the federal government, Boss Mustafa, a governor of uh, Kaduna State, Nasir El Rufai, and the deputy governors of Jigawa, Shokoto, Zamfara, Yobe, and Kano states. So now this is now the turbaning of uh, Buhari's nephew, who is of course enjoying the largesse of the Niger Delta oil money, which is now under the firm control of Malam Buhari and his acolytes and his cabal and his crew. And part of the spill off of that is all these titles that they are now buying themselves. So this guy has gone to buy himself a title in uh, Daura, his hometown, his homestead. And Yemi Oshibanjo, of course, who has now completely been stripped and rebranded as some sort of like a lady type boy. So I'm not calling him a lady boy, but a lady type boy. He's now completely been stripped of his powers and his trousers has been pulled down and is now bent over now in, in, in readiness for whatever happens next. So you can all envision the scenario and the bend over a routine that he's doing now is him now going to Dara to do Ranka Day Day to Abba Kwari and this um uh, whatever it is this Haro person who I'm not familiar with in this sort of like now show of shame completely debasing that uh, exalted and revered office of the vice president of Nigeria so um dress me in a pink tutu and call me Fifi is how I started off this uh, video and this is how I'm rounding it off as well because this is all of the narrative of this uh, particular story that I've just brought you if you were to say some of the story in one sentence that would be the sentence uh dress me in a pink tutu and call me fifi it's effectively what um yemi oshibanjo is now saying to the nigerian state so emasculated is this guy now conversations in the comment section the vice president or should we not say the lady vice president what is your take come tell me all about it in the comment section but before you do this click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me what you are making of this apparent and seeming emasculation of a yemi oshibajo a revered law professor the husband of an uh awolowo granddaughter the complete emasculation and the basing of this man by the malamis or am i reading that completely wrong if you completely disagree with me then let me know all about it in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry on with you in the comment section but here i say peace